October 14th, 2016, weekend edition. Let's go! It's the weekend. There's supposed to be a huge storm blowing through. The winds are starting to pick up. It's supposed to get to like 30, 40 miles an hour with like 60 mile an hour gusts. Keeping a look at these trees here, that's my house. I actually kind of pulling for a couple of those to fall because that would save me about two grand. We'll see. The windy weather's supposed to be here soon. <laughs> and although it might sound windy there on the camera, it's not. It's not what you think it would be. October 15th, 2016. The gym I work out at. The gym I work out at is remodeling its whole aquatic center. And I usually sit in the hot tub to warm up. So now I have to do this uh, sauna. It's hot in here. Are you taking pictures? I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, it's foot facing towards me. Okay. Yeah. I'm just making sure. I mean, people coming so, through. Uh... Sorry, yeah. I guess blogging in a. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I guess you're really not supposed to use a phone in a locker room. God, it's hot in here. That's with clothes on. So you could take like three pounds off. It's my top. 185. I like to stay right around there. I've always wanted to do this. I've also always wanted to do that in slow motion. All right, so we're not allowed vlogging and driving anymore with the kids. So now we have to vlog around the neighborhood, but that's okay because we have to go look at our house. See how far it's gone. Where are we going today? Finding Dory. Uh, because where's dad going this whole week? Where am I going? Business trip. Denver, that's in Colorado. Yeah. Wait, you guys do fun things when daddy leaves on business trips? Yeah. That's no fair. This Denver is called the Mile High City. Does anybody know why? Because there's land under it. <laughs> nice. Well, how is it high if the land is under it? Uh, the land stacks up. It's nice. Very smart. Good job. I like your book name, Cereal. Oh, wow. Nice. Me too. Speaking of cereal, this is our last week. This is your last week to buy my book. Some cool stretch goals are on there. Your next goal is to do what? $7,500. What the? What the? Yep, if we get the next stretch goal, Zoe, then Daddy's gonna read the book to everybody. Just read it aloud. Oh, in that garage. You always get that one, Trip. Okay, let's start vlo stop vlogging. Oh, crap. <laughs> Today, I took my kids to the movie theater. We love going to the movie theater. In particular, we like going to this movie theater called Northern Lights here in Salem. The reason we like it is because, well, it's affordable and a lot of other people like it as well. So today, my kids loaded up, we went to the movie theater, we got there super early, got tickets, we got right up in the front of the line to move into the, to go into the theater. Wow. Everybody else started lining up behind us. And then I saw a family kind of working on the left of me, kind of up in front of me. They were standing at another theater door that was near ours, but then it became very clear what they were trying to do. It was a wife and a husband and four kids. They had come a little too late to get the seats that they wanted and they were trying to get in front of us to get into the movie theater. 
Now my first reaction obviously was, these guys aren't getting in front of me. And anger, I even like started sweating. But then my focus started to shift to jealousy. I ended up being kind of envious of their teamwork. Just watching the wife work it, watching the wife work her way in up there and then the, the husband kind of bringing the kids around. It was like clockwork. They were a team. They were working together well. And I was envious of it. Kind of stopped being mad at it and kind of got over it and was more in awe of their ability to work together as a team. So the question is, maybe not just with your spouse, but with the people you work with, what is your team like? Do you think other people are in awe of how you work and how well you work together? All right, hey, have a good week. It's Monday.